Welcome back. There's an incredible new documentary coming out about a very special part of our city. It's called America's Hidden Gem, Northwest Aurora, and we are lucky to be joined by the director and producer, Julie Jackson. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Blaine. It's great to be here. Yes, thank you. So we know the Aurora slogan is the world in a city. I know this film encapsulates that a lot in the rich diversity. We're just trying to champion the diversity mm -hmm. and the history of Northwest Aurora. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Oh my gosh, where to start? It's a it's a huge film with a very big mission and vision, but uh, its mission is really to celebrate the rich living history of Northwest Aurora. And so we really looked back at, you know, from Fitzsimmons and the pioneering um, uh, origins that the city had mm -hmm. through the military. And then looking through to today, um, its purpose is really to celebrate diversity. Um, there, it, it, it transcends politics though. Like it's not a political documentary. It's really a human story. Um, we have five main characters that we follow and through them, we learn very much about Northwest Aurora, which is to me, like it, it's definitely the most diverse community in Colorado, but I, I would argue it's probably per capita, one of the most diverse in the country and America being one of the most diverse countries on the planet. Absolutely. It could be one of the most diverse places in the world. Yeah, that's truly special. I know we're going to share a clip from the film right now, and then we'll dive in a little bit deeper. What the American dream is is hard, because I think it's different things to different people. In talking to refugees and talking to immigrants, I think that they've thought more about why they want to be American, why they want to be living in America, than a lot of people who grew up here have. We have such a tight-knit community. If somebody wants to start a business, they can go to their neighbors or their friends. It really is a community that prides themselves on helping each other. It's such a great example of the beauty and strength of diversity and how, how much diversity makes the community so much more vibrant. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods in the whole state, and I hope that we can maintain the character. So Julie, one of the things that resonated with me in that clip is Keith Outkelt from the History Museum saying that a lot of times, in his opinion, refugees, immigrants, think more, feel more about what it means to be in the U.S. than some people who were born here. What do you think about that assessment? Yeah, that was actually a theme that rose to the top because many of the interviewees that we uh, talked to had that same sentiment. You know, folks come to America and they work hard because what we have, the culture, the values of America are amazing. And immigrants really do emulate that. Um, I mean, the mayor, we interviewed the mayor, he okay. teared up thinking about his mother also, who's an immigrant. And it's, you know, there's one line in the film that is super powerful to me that is when the mayor went undercover, you know, as the homeless um, person, unhoused person uh, a couple of years ago mm -hmm. during COVID, he realized that it wasn't immigrants on the streets. It was, you know, long-term Americans. So anyway, a, a very powerful theme, which is partly why it's called America's Hidden Gem. It's yeah. looking at the values of work, of resiliency, um, that, that really is American. And where did the inspiration come from? How did this idea come about to not just, you know, know about it and feel it yourself, but to, you know, broadly show this and, and produce a film about it? Well, so the executive producer and I have worked on several projects in the past, um, and he reached out to me about telling this story and like, oh, what do you think of this idea? And like, I was born in Northwest Aurora. Okay. I was born at Fitzsimmons Hospital. My dad is military. And the first home we had was right there in Northwest Aurora. And so when he reached out to me about it, number one, because it's Aurora, and I remember, you know, that Fox Theater and that whole neighborhood is like, you can see how cool it used to be. And now it's, um, there's a lot of boarded up windows. And so I was very curious. And um, he, we convened uh, tons of, uh, community leaders to be a steering committee. That's sort of my way as a director is not, it's not me coming in with just my story. It's more of a uh, story told from within. Yeah. And um, anyway, uh, it was he, and he runs the Aurora Economic uh, Opportunity Coalition and right there on Dayton and Colfax, which is where the Dayton Street Day Labor Center is, which is a lot of immigrants um, coming and looking for work. So he reached out to me and w once I went down the rabbit hole of this community, I mean, I was really honored to tell the story. So you are Northwest Aurora through and through, and you are just Born. showcasing this yes. to the masses, which is beautiful. So 
What do you want people who watch this film to come away with? What do you want them to feel? That is a really great question. Number one, it's a celebratory film. So I want people to feel uplifted, proud, um, inspired. I mean, we do look at the issues that Northwest Aurora faces, but the, the film is transcending that, I think, and it is very human. And we hope that people talk about the issues, get involved. We have lots of opportunities for folks to engage so that we can consciously look at how to revitalize without gentrifying Northwest Aurora. Beautiful. Well, we can't wait to learn more. We can't wait for everyone in Aurora and beyond to see this film. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, the, the movie is called America's Hidden Gem at Northwest Aurora. There will be a special screening at the Aurora Fox on Thursday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. And it'll be followed by a panel discussion. General admission tickets are $15. We've also linked a website under this week's show with information about future screenings in Aurora and beyond.